I'm Amy from Digital Doll Designs. After showing you guys how to make the punch needle ornamental corn, I thought it would be fun to also make a hooked rug ornamental corn. So we're going to make one of those today and show you how to put it together. I'll put a link to the pattern in the description below that you can use. My mom hooked these and she just hooked these straight across so that it would look like throws of corn. And she used different colors on all three of them so they would have a different look. She cut around each one, leaving about an inch of empty monk's cloth. And she did hook these on monk's cloth. It's easier to bend and manipulate because it's a softer material than the linens. So we're going to fold it in half lengthwise with the right sides together and then sew with the zipper foot just the long side. So leave the both ends open. Now it is sewn up there on the edge and I'm going to turn it. So after turning it, you can see a little bit of the monk's cloth here. If you wanted, you could pinch it together and hand sew that. I'm not going to worry about it because it's going to be on the back side and it will be hidden by the husks. Now I'm going to use a needle and thread and sew a running stitch around the both ends just as close to the hooked rows as I can get. And this will be used to gather both ends of the corn. I'm going to pull it to gather it, and then as I do, I'm going to push the empty monk's cloth to the inside. Now I'm going to stuff the ear of corn. I'm just using some fiber fill type stuffing. So now that it's stuffed, I'm going to run, do a running stitch along the top to gather it also.
And again, I'm going to just push the empty monk's cloth to the inside as I gather. And then I'm going to tie this off to secure it. And I have this twisted raffia paper. This is in a natural color. And I'm going to cut off a length that is several inches longer than the hooked corn. And then I'm going to untwist this. Now, some of the folded paper raffia that I have found only folds out to about an inch, and this folds out to three inches. So when you're choosing some at the store, you wanna find some that has a wider measurement to it. So now I'm going to take the husks, the corn husks, and I'm going to point each of the ends with my scissors to give it a little bit of a look like, like it's really a husk from a ear of corn. I'm going to put one in the back and I want them to overlap on the top a little bit and hang over the top edge and then I'm going to wrap the other two around the sides. And then I've got a piece of twine here and I'm going to tie this in a knot this is going to help keep everything held together and then this bottom part I'm going to bring it together and gather it with my hands and then I have a skinnier piece of jute here to tie it in the knot and then I'm going to wrap the jute around several times and then I'll tie it again in a double knot and this paper raffia is very moldable you can really bend it and fold it the way you want so that it will look like it's molded around the corn then i'm going to tie the ends of this jute with little knots cut off the excess. This is a little long here, so I'm going to cut it off.
be sure to click the like button and subscribe below. I'll see you next time. Bye.